championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Max Holloway. Well, he is on the short list of the greatest featherweights of all time, but Max Holloway has goals beyond that. DC, you know he trains at 185, 190 pounds. Going to be very interesting to see how far Max Holloway can take this here in the UFC. He's one of the best fighters, as you said. He's one of the best featherweights of all time, and it's because of his preparation and his attention to detail. When he made his UFC debut, he had hiccups, but he went back to the lab and he fixed those things, and it showed and a massive 13 fight win streak that had him winning the featherweight championship and defending it on multiple occasions. Max Holloway is truly one of the best fighters in the entire organization. And what he did in that two fight series with Jose Aldo is something that history is gonna look back upon very fondly. Max blessed Holloway back in another big spot here tonight. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Bates. for this, our main event of the evening. Nurmagomedov is three years his senior. Holloway is one inch taller. Nurmagomedov will have a one inch reach advantage. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, six losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, presenting the challenger, Max Blessed Holloway. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. Habib, the Eagle, Nibago Meta! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, 
right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Nermago Medov's trying for a submission here. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Got to the clinch, sold the posture, and lands some big knees from in close. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another. Beautiful takedown. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Side control now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Whatever you want to do down there, you can do. You ready? You ready? Oh, huge block! That one stuck in. Nice strike. Well done. Well, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps him on the middle. What a great job timing that kick. Driving in. And there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what's run, high, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Two total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Well, pretty efficient with the striking attempts thus far, landing with 65% accuracy against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Holloway gets the tie clinch here. Oh, collar tie. Big elbow there, Lance. Huge shots there! out of range with that left hook. Nice job by Nurmagomedov on mixing it up here on the feet, DC. I know you can speak to this as well as anyone. His striking has really started to catch up with the rest. 
Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job working hard. Coaching and getting the shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Beautiful punch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very beautiful takedown to land. Oh, nice! Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Holloway. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. So the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on the quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the feet. Very, very efficient. Good round in the center. He's in a world of trouble now. They say it's great. Let's get there first, and it got right. Another knockdown! Another knockdown! Transition to the ankle kick. Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle kick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Holloway's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown, but he just waited for one second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, so 74 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Well, six out of every 10 strikes roughly have found the mark, landing with 60% accuracy against Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Nermago Menov going for the ball. Jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. 
All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. So here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Wow. Actually, got the takedown. And he gets the single leg takedown. Holloway's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Let's go. Push, push, push. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. I mean, how many can he take? Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Now the guy's got on bar, he's attacking it on it. He's gonna attack on bar here. Posturing up now, and he's out. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. In attack an armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, man, that was slick. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Swing and a big miss. Oh! Oh, he got a bad! All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Ten seconds to go in round four. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. So here it is, fight. folks, fifth and final round. <laughs> what an offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over this. What a great play of mixing up his path. He didn't stay in the fourth. He mixed it up. He went high with him. He was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. 
Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. He needs to try to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Got to be careful, armbar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of this backbinder, Mago Medoff. Under two minutes remain in the fight. So oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch from the clinch. Oh, big knee to the body by Holloway. Another huge right. Rock him, sock him, down the stretch they go. Knee to the body. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and...